Hello everybody, what is up? Okay, I am actually going to be reacting to the Donkey Kong vs. Knuckles death battle. So, I have, I know that Donkey Kong, I know a little bit about Donkey Kong, but I know more that Knuckles likes to help Sonic in some situations, but anyway, we're here to see these two have a death battle. Oh, and then you can click here on the link. You can click here if you want to see the original battle without no spoilers. But until, but if you don't want it, let's go. Guardians of Treasure, Champions of Justice, and prove that if you've got enough brute strength, you don't need to be smart to kick some serious ass. Donkey Kong, defender of the world's largest banana horde. And Knuckles the Echidna, guardian of the all-powerful Master Emerald. We've already established that Mario and Sonic-related power-ups counter each other. For example, DK's Strong Kong could counter Hyper Knuckles, so for this fight, we'll be sticking to the bare essentials. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a... A DEAD BATTLE! Now this is the law of the jungle. As old and as true as the sky. Ones that shall keep it may prosper. But the ones who touch Donkey Kong's banana horde must die. See, I know literature. Well, the part's about killing, anyway. Long ago, an illegal pet gorilla famously did battle with his abusive owner atop a construction site. The ape's name was Donkey Kong, and the conflict didn't go so well for him. After escaping, he fled to a remote island with his son also named Donkey Kong. His son would later bear a child destined to rule the island. This powerful ape was named... You guessed it, Donkey Kong. Being a gorilla, Donkey Kong naturally loves bananas. No, 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 no. Real gorillas primarily eat plants, like stems and bamboo shoots, and sometimes termites to fight diarrhea. Too much info, Wiz. Well, this gorilla loves bananas so much that he's hoarded hundreds for himself. And if someone tries to take away any of his delicious golden treasures, may God help them. And Damn. yet his enemies have been bold enough to steal his entire stockpile several times, right out from under his nose. That's what happens when you hog every banana on the island to yourself. Just basic supply and demand. Donkey Kong weighs 800 pounds and stands about 8 feet tall. That's almost twice as big as a normal gorilla. He spends his afternoons as if he were a Florida native by finding ways to kill crocodiles, such as crushing them with his sheer weight, chucking barrels at them like his old man, or just straight up punching them to death. The strength this ape wields is so tremendous, his very palms can shake the earth. And his trademark giant punch can send his victims flying beyond the horizon. But just because he's strong doesn't mean he's slow. He can unleash a flurry of blows so fast he ignites the hydrogen in the air, creating explosions! This is similar to a meteor catching fire while falling through the atmosphere at 25,000 miles per hour. I'm telling you, Wiz, it's only a matter of time before the apes take over. While common gorillas have impressed the scientific community by using basic tools, Donkey Kong is a little beyond that. Yeah, he's got a shotgun! Like, I know it looks like he's just carrying around a log, but no, seriously, it's a boomstick that Funky Kong somehow made out of a tree. That fires concussive homing coconuts! It can fire in spurts, and if he shoots you, it's gonna hurt. At least, that's what the DK rat tells us. But what it doesn't tell us is that the series of grunts you hear from the Kongs is actually them speaking their own language. Really? I wonder what he's saying. Banana! Mostly just that. Sometimes he sings too. From on top of the white mountains, your glory rises high to the sky. Okay, I think we get enough with Donkey Kong. Can we move on to Knuckles the Antigna? What the hell? Okay, I know I watched some of this show, but I do not remember there being any musical numbers. Like, at all. Oh, there were two in every episode. Forty episodes in all. Your brain likely shut down while watching to protect your fragile consciousness. I shower you with coconut cream pie. Good one, brain. 
I owe you a beer. Donkey Kong has done some ridiculous things. With a clap of his hands, he can create a shockwave strong enough to shatter meteors. Also, I exaggerate nothing when I say he ate an entire plantation of bananas in a single afternoon. He's agile enough to dodge arrows on a narrow ledge, and tough enough to survive point-blank explosions. Multiple times! But most impressively, after surviving an explosion that launched him into orbit, he used a fully charged giant punch to send a moon careening into the planet. He apparently expands his power by using both his bananas and his body hair, like a monkey for Reynolds. If he gets a haircut, though, he loses his power and looks really weird. Wow, I... wow. Well, perhaps DK's cranial deformity is linked to his greatest weakness. You see, Donkey Kong is kind of an idiot. We're talking about an ape who didn't realize he was following his own treasure map until after he found the bananas it led to. Or while suffering from amnesia, a pirate crocodile was able to convince him that he was a crocodile through song and dance. Donkey Kong joined in, singing about physical features he clearly does not possess. He's also just as lazy as he is stupid. One time, he and Diddy were making a killing selling frozen coconuts and could have had all the bananas they ever wanted. But the simple task of just cracking coconuts open all day was too strenuous for the big ape. So he sold the business for a couple measly bananas. Bananas are the only motivator that seemed to work on DK. But they're also the only one he needs to bring out the big guns. If something separates him from his precious fruit stockpile, someone is going to die. Nothing stopping me this time! Not a do it. You're gonna stop because that's what you do when you're faced with an irresistible force. Wow! Ah. Thank you! 4,000 years ago, the Echidna race thrived due to their advanced technology and talent for warfare. Now that's what I call a pet! I know what I'm picking up at the pet store on the way home. Just a heads up, the males have four heads on their penises. What? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Desperate for the power to command the world, the Knuckles tribe staged a raid to obtain the legendary power of the Master Emerald. What they didn't know was that it was protected by a giant murderous water dragon with tentacles named Chaos. And it just killed the shit out of them. Miraculously, a young Echidna girl survived and managed to seal Chaos inside the Master Emerald. The resulting energy output ripped the Echidna's home into the sky to become Angel Island, perpetually floating so long as the Emerald remained in its shrine. Sonic lore, everybody. Centuries later, one final descendant of the Knuckles clan remained, and his name was... Knuckles. So not the most creative parenting in the world, but hey... Knuckles is the lone guardian of the Master Emerald, dedicating his entire life to protecting the family jewels. Eh, why'd he spend most of his days sleeping and doing nothing? Because really, who's gonna fly all the way up to a tiny floating island just to steal a rock? Why, the nefarious Dr. Eggman, of course. As a ploy, Eggman convinced Knuckles that a certain blue hedgehog and a fox with two tails planned to steal the Master Emerald. Knuckles left to stop the thieves, and Eggman swiped the gem for himself. Not the sharpest head on the dick, is he? Without its energy source, Angel Island plummeted out of the sky. Until Sonic the Hedgehog literally beat the sense into Knuckles, and together they saved the day, forming a tense romance. Sounds like you've got an inferiority complex. Huh? I have a what? Oh, nothing. Never mind, Knuckles. Inferiority contact. To try to guard the emerald. However, Inferiority contact. Steal it. Do. But luckily for old Red Red, he can track the Master Emerald using his treasure hunting skills. And his special bond with the gem, which allows him to detect its presence and harness some of its power. Which he can focus through the ancient martial art passed down through the Knuckles clan. The ancient art? Of punch the crap out of everything! No, really, that's the answer to every single problem Knuckles has. Something in the way? Punch it! Need to climb a cliff? Punch it! Falling down a trap? Punch it! Punching not working for some reason? You f***ing know he punches it more! Mom, stop! Is breaking and entering is way too literal. Speaking of which, Knuckles can throw punches so extreme, they create explosions by igniting hydrogen in the air. Sounds familiar? Knuckles is fast, capable of running at least 100 miles per hour. He can also take to the sky and glide, 
reportedly by trapping air underneath his dreadlocks. Although there's no logical way those locks are aerodynamic enough to keep him airborne. Hey, it's better than a Tanuki flying with its nutsack. Then again, he could be twirling his dick. And with the spikes on his fist, Knuckles can effortlessly dig through dirt and rock. Add on his attachable shovel claws, and he can even tunnel through solid metal. With arms that stringy, it makes you wonder where all this strength comes from. Well, his connection with the Master Emerald is responsible for much of his more absurd attributes, like gliding and punching explosions. Nooks can shatter boulders, dodge machine guns, ride atop flying jets and missiles like skateboards. Oh, and he can breathe in space. He's matched and even trumped Sonic in battle, runs fast enough to cut holes in the ground, is strong enough to uproot massive trees. Hell, he's strong enough to throw this! With a single punch, he can trigger a volcanic eruption. Doing so requires displacing pressure in a volcano's magma chamber. At minimum, this can sit around 3,280 feet or one kilometer below the Earth's surface. Knuckles had to have punched the ground with at least 3.9 megatons of force. Over three times more powerful than the highest yield bomb in the known U.S. nuclear stockpile. That's cute. How about the time he punched the moon? One day, Eggman blew up half the moon and rebuilt it into a robot moon because, well, he gets off on that shit. Via remote control, oh, Eggman actually again. changed well, the moon's important. orbit to create a never-ending eclipse. But never fear, Knuckles just dove out into outer space and punched the remote control into dust, causing an explosion visible from Earth and returning the moon to its normal orbit. But having these abilities isn't enough to let him win every time, especially when his biggest obstacle is his own brain. Knuckles is illiterate, doesn't know left from right, and one time didn't realize until too late that he was eating a napkin. Hey, give credit where it's due, Wiz. When he did figure it out, he stuck to his guns and finished every bite of that damn napkin. It's dinner and cleanup at the same time! He hardly ever strategizes before combat, preferring to run in swinging. Hey, whatever works. It doesn't. Well, not all the time. And despite being mortal enemies, Dr. Eggman has duped Knuckles into allying with him on multiple occasions. It's happened so often by now, you have to wonder whose side he's really on. Hey, his fists can blow the top off a volcano, so why waste precious time on things like reasoning? Uh, what a dreamboat. I want to be just like you when I grow up. Knuckles, you've been elected governor! All in a day's work. Hey, that's not how it... Shh. All right, the combatants yeah, are set. set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle! Okay, as far as I can tell... We wasted almost 18 minutes just by listening to their outros alone. Intros alone. How much longer is this video? A death battle! Knuckles, no! No! Come on, Knuckles, kick him. Oh, 
<laughs> Shovel claws. Now it's just whack a mole. Damn. Not as strong as you thought you were. Oh no. Ray Knuckles. Oh boy. another episode of Death Battle. I'm Ben. I play Wiz, and next time is Wolverine. But who is he going to be fighting? Be sure to stay tuned to our social media websites, Twitter, at ScrewAttack, and Facebook, Official SA. We will be letting you know who Wolverine is fighting on Death Battle very soon on those websites. In the meantime, you can click the little annotation up there to go check out the latest Death Battle. Wait a minute. Goku versus Vegeta for Worlds Greatest Dad. Uh, guys, I'm going to leave a link right here in the description. The, here and in the description below if you want to see the original version of this video. Okay, bye.